Welcome back everybody and welcome to a whole different lighting package that we have here in this beautiful, beautiful bathroom. Or uh, what is becoming a very beautiful bathroom. Currently just a sink. But, definitely exciting week this week. Uh, first off, let me apologize for missing last week. That is the first week I've actually ever missed. Uh, I had a friend who was uh, getting close to divorce, let's say, and uh, needed a bit of space. And uh, I made sure to take care of that. And we also had a tour of tour guides of all things, and uh, that made me have to clean all the house, but that did free up one room with a bunch of junk, and I definitely wanna show you guys that. First off, let's talk about the bathroom. Oh my, oh my, she is absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love the way this is turning out. No, the blue tape will not be here later. I still have to finish putting the water locks on everything. Um, I need, just need a brush for that, but man, the sconces are turning out absolutely amazing. I love the sunflower designs on these things. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, I do have crystals for these. Kim was cleaning them this week. Um, you can see the little eyelets here, little guys here. Um, so there will be crystals that come down off of this and there'll be the ones that match the chandelier in the entryway. The mirror itself turned out, I think, absolutely brilliant. So very wonderful. I think all of the details really shine throughout. And uh, yeah, you know, decent looking mirror. Uh, I kept most of the original uh, finish on the mirror. Uh, I did use a little bit of that spray paint mirror stuff to fill some of the old holes in. Uh, and I left the scratches and things like that because it's kind of part of the history of the mirror. It's not the brightest or most flashy mirror, but it's my mirror and I love it. And again, with most of all the other items in here, it shows the life that it had before. 
So I think it looks absolutely amazing. The gaps here the, in the mirror, because I cut this little bit off the bottom down here, and so we the gaps fit absolutely perfectly on both sides, and that looks wonderful. So super, super excited about that. It just kind of worked, um, which, you know, can't get anything better, right? Like when something just works, oh, the feeling. I did notice in the comments a few people wanted me to change the shades for something a bit smaller. Um, that's not quite possible, only for the fact that these are gas fitting types. So the fitter on this is a four inch base. So it's a four inch circumference. Um, so it requires these type of shades. These are gas life shades. And also for historic reasons, you can't use smaller shades because they didn't, except for in very rare circumstances, use shades smaller than this for gas fixtures. And even though these are electric, you can see the light levels they're putting off. It's not terribly bright in here, but that's the way it would have been. It's supposed to give off a, a darker feel. I mean, this was fairly, you know, modern technology for that time. And so having light at all was pretty fantastic. And then just the way everything looks together. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I really do love it. Then also you might have noticed I have the toilet in, as in it's just sitting here. <laughs> but it does give you guys an idea of what the whole thing will look like. Uh, I put this pipe up on here, which will be the pipe for it. Actually, it won't be because look how low this is in comparison to everything. I didn't realize that this company was selling me a four foot pipe. Also didn't realize what a four foot pipe looked like off of a toilet, so it's not right. Um, and that would put the tank right here, which would be really weird. Uh, so what I've done is I found another company. I don't like anything. I think this is like from Renovator Supply, if I'm not wrong. Um, to be honest, most of the stuff that they've sent me, I'm not impressed with quality wise or price wise. Um, so I don't think I'll be using them again. Uh, but the Mac the Antique Plumber, I think, is the other place I went to. And I got a six and a half foot pipe, which puts it just about here-ish, and so the tank will sit up there, which is perfect. Um, you know, if you're gonna have a high tank, have a high tank. So getting that all worked out.
and I'm back and the door's in. Uh, let me first uh, show you guys the edge that I cut because um, I'm quite happy with it considering how rough it was before it looks pretty good. So here it is, you can see uh, pretty much a perfectly straight line and this was wibbly wobbly every which way. So I'm quite happy with the line I was able to get. Um, I did have to end up cutting, as you guys saw, a little tiny baby bit off of the bottom here. Um, it was already kind of high anyways, but then I actually had to drop this a little bit, this top little piece here. So I had to take it down by about inch and a half. Uh, reason being for that, is that right there. I needed the door to clear underneath this or else it wouldn't fully open. It would clip this consistently. So, you know, dropped it a bit. It seems like it's gonna work all right. And then if you close the door, look at that fit. That I am happy with. Uh, I didn't necessarily plan it to go in this space. Again, this was existing work. Um, and the door swung open before. It didn't swing into this. But look how perfect that is. Like, you can't get much closer. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it worked out really well. It slides into that slot like it was meant for it. And uh, now I can tell everybody that that's the original purpose of this little bop, pop out here. Of course, that's not the truth, but I could say that if I wanted to because they do work really well. Then again, you know, the beautiful, beautiful curly pine on these guys. I'm so, so excited about this. It looks quite great. Of course, here in the corner, it's a bit rough and that's because I had to add that little extra piece here on the side. But hey guys, we have a door. <laughs> it's a room. And now when you're washing your hands, you can have just a little bit of privacy. We'll get the shellac and all the locks and everything on next week. Um, there's a little bit of touch up here and there that I gotta do before I can put that final coat on. But again, result wise, absolutely gorgeous. Again, I cannot wait to see some of this curly pine with the shellac on it because some of the best looking stuff is on this side. I mean, check out these pieces down here. Like that is so, so beautiful. So we'll get to that. So I mentioned to you guys earlier in the video about that room that uh, nobody's really seen very clean and including myself until last week. Um, well, me and Atlas, my puppy here, uh, wanna share it with you because it's really, really pretty. <laughs> So in the lieu of Kim, here's an atlas for scale. <laughs> He's a pretty big puppy. But check this out, guys. This is the dining room. Uh, you know, sans the medallion up here, of course. I still got that little piece off, uh, but I'm working on getting that back together, which you guys will see in a second. But look how absolutely gorgeous this room is. The flooring, the wainscoting around the whole place. As you guys can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. And again, all of this stuff here is curly pine as well. It's got a lot of dirty uh, old shellac on it, lots of layers, so you can't really see it very well, but uh, I promise you it's there. There's the built-in china cabinet, which I have actually filled with a lot of your guys' wonderful, wonderful treasures um, to keep them safe because that room doesn't really see any kind of dirt or debris, so it keeps everything rather safe. And uh, I mean, again, how cool is that little place? And this, I don't know, the flow of this room, it's like a big ballroom. You know, and then I've got a lot of the, you know, I've got a lot of the lamps set up here, the, the Newell Post lamps, and that's what's illuminating this room. And to be honest with you, they put off really beautiful light. I mean, I just love this room. The, the mantle, the, the inlay and the floor, the stripes here that you can see. Uh, you know, you have these boards running this way and the other one's coming across. Like, it feels like a ballroom that I should be dancing in or something. Or a room that I would be too scared to go into and not touch something. <laughs> and then, you know, of course, this absolutely gorgeous mantle, which you can kind of see some of the carving in it. It's actually really intricately carved. The little flowers here. I actually think on this side, yeah, you can see they've got a bit of ink left in that one. And you can see the design of the flowers and Man, this room is just something. The really intricate mantle and the really wonderful tiles. I mean, I know I harp on quite a bit about the parlors, but this room might take the cake as far as the fanciest room in the house. 
And uh, for the longest time, I had a bunch of flooring hanging out in here that's for the library upstairs because this room wasn't going to be anything immediately. It was something I was gonna hold off on and restore once I got a bit better at things. This is actually going to be me and Kim's bedroom when we move in. Uh, this wonderful, wonderful room. So we're gonna be using it as a bedroom for probably a year or two uh, while we work on the rest of the house. We'll have the kitchen right next to us through the push door. And uh, that'll be a room that's coming here again quite soon. Um, and this little back space with the bathroom, the kitchen, and this is the bedroom. Uh, we'll finish up the hallway and we'll have a house. Um, we'll have a little weird rinky dink shower in the basement, <laughs> a temporary fix but the rest of the house will actually be really, really wonderful in this little back area. And I mean, I'm happy, you know, we've, we've, I've had the dogs up here now. I've been staying up here every night of the week now. Like I don't leave this place. And uh, me and Atlas, Atlas now pretty much lives here. So I got me, I got my best friend in the whole world, my puppy, um, and the other dogs and Kim come visit quite often. It's pretty cool. I just can't wait to get the rest of my puppies and my lovely, lovely lady, Kim, up here with me. And yeah, life couldn't be better in that respect. <laughs> I'm so happy to get to that point, but this room just being clean and finally seeing it the way it is meant to be seen. Oh man, uh, yeah, it fills me with joy. I sometimes just come and hang out in here just because I can now. And uh, oh, it's nice. So I just want to share that with you guys because uh, prior to last week, this room has never been so clean and it's never been so visible. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Figured you'd like it. Also don't mind the hockey gear here, but this does lead me to a good parallel. Um, I did a little, my first YouTube collaboration uh, with a local goalie coach in, uh, that's here in town. His name's Kane Van Gate, uh, or KVG. He's the best beer league goalie in the biz. Um, but I did a really fun video with him. Uh, I'll leave a link uh, probably right here and down in the description if you guys want to check that out. Uh, go check it out. You guys can see what I am doing when I'm not working on the house. Um, this is, you know, my, my second big passion. So if you guys want to see me do some goofy glove saves and stuff, uh, go check out that video. Well, all right, ladies and gents, that will be the show for this week. Uh, again, sorry so much for missing last week, but you know, life gets in the way. I do want to say thank you so very much to the people who actually uh, wrote me and checked in on me. Uh, yes, Kim and I are doing just fine. Uh, we just missed a week, but it was very sweet and uh, the sentiment isn't missed on us. So we appreciate that. Thank you. It is uh, kind of remarkable to know how many of you guys actually really, really care about us, which is, uh, it's crazy. We have a really, really big extended family now. So for that, thank you guys so very much. Oh, and don't forget, uh, the tour is coming up on June the 4th. We are doing the St. Louis Place Neighborhood Tour. St. Louis Place being my wonderful neighborhood. Uh, there are four houses, well, three houses, two of which are museums, uh, and then an actual big museum that used to be part of the church that was behind my house. It was the school for us. Uh, so all of them in old, remarkable, amazing buildings. Uh, one of them being the Vachon Museum that puts my house to shame. It is absolutely stunning and the collection inside of it, it might even be better. Um, so it's something you guys definitely don't want to miss. There's also an art show. We're gonna have some food um, and it's all to raise money to benefit the neighborhood, to get some signage out here, um, to, to make this a place you want to be, uh, to make St. Louis place a place again. <laughs> so uh, we're definitely uh, really excited about it and uh, we hope you guys will join us. So uh, June 4th, be there. And as always, guys, I hope you guys all had a fan-fantastic week. I apologize for not being in it earlier this week, but I hope you had a great one without us. And I hope you guys even have a better week this week with us. So uh, have a fan-fantastic week. Thank you guys all, all so much for being here again every week. Uh, we, we really, truly do appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, and we'll see you guys again next week for sure. Promise won't miss one. Goodbye.